Coming to you from Radnor, Pennsylvania, this is your Location Sports Update. Hi, I'm Allie Stein and this is Sports on Location. And I'm Joan Oweski and this is your weekly sports update. Division II Philadelphia University visited Cabrini Field on Monday afternoon for a doubleheader. The Cavaliers topped the Rams 5-2 in the first game but fell 9-0 in Game 2. Senior Caitlin Cooper's three-run home run in the fifth inning put the Cavaliers up by four in the first game to give them the win. The Rams scored once more, but in the seventh inning, sophomore pitcher Jess Giordano shut them down and improved 5-4 on the season after tossing seven innings and allowing just one earned run on five hits. The Cavaliers will host Newman University on Saturday for a doubleheader. The first pitch is scheduled for 12 p.m. On Tuesday, the Colonial States Athletic Conference announced its list of weekly golf honors. Junior golfer Joe Myers was honored and named CSAC Golfer of the Week after posting a 75.3 scoring average in three events last week. In other news this week, the men's tennis team earned their first pair of wins this season on Monday afternoon in a match against Rosemont College. The Cavs topped the Ravens 9-0 and improved to 1-9 overall and 1-3 in the CSAC. Last fall, we had four teams win the CSAC playoffs, and this spring we are looking to have the same. Let's see how they are preparing for the playoffs. My team and I, I think we're, we're pushing through. Um, we were projected to finish second in the CSAC, and I think we're kind of living up to that potential. We're uh, pushing each other day in and day out, and we're working hard. The Cabrini College softball team had to reschedule many early season games due to inclement weather. Now the softball team must face 18 games in 18 days. Um, it's definitely frustrating at times because we have to stay focused in the gym and in the gym there's not much you can do. So when we get a chance to go outside, we're definitely focused. Um, I think as an individual, it gives you a little bit more time in the gym, you know, to do T work, to, you know, work on, you know, some backhands or um, short hops and stuff. Um, as a team, it's hard to stay focused in the gym um, because we are inside and, you know, we do want to be outside. Uh, definitely, I think our ultimate goal is to win CSAC. Uh, we definitely have some tough games that we have to get through, such as Newman and Gwinnett and just games like those that we have to push ourselves through and come together as one in order to get past them. I think we're playing alongside each other to push each other. Um, I also think that we're working on our team chemistry and, uh, you know, just working together to complete our goal. I definitely feel prepared. Uh, honestly, like Newman is definitely going to be a tough game to get through, who we lost to in the CSAC championship last year. But um, I definitely feel that every day goes on, we're getting more prepared and coming together as a team. Oh yeah, we still have um, probably like the meat of our season coming up. Um, we're playing some tough teams. Uh, we play Gwinnett, um, we play Newman. Um, we have a few other co uh, conference games. Um, I think we're ready for CSAC. You know, I think uh, we've prepared, we've had that goal in mind, and um, we're ready to do it. Well, our team chemistry is really good. We're all like sisters. We all get along great. Our team goal for the season, I would just say, is beating Newman and winning the championship again. A lot of our girls have injuries, so in order to prepare like for the rest of the season, we like all sit in the trainer's, trainer's room and heat and ice and stretch. Sometimes some of us don't practice. Because our team's not as big as, as, as it was last year, so we can't really challenge each other that much. We don't, we don't really scrimmage. But like in our drills, we just have to like push harder to like make each other better. So we are ready to go up against the difficult teams that we don't usually play for in the season. It looks like we're ready to go. Hopefully you can bring in some more trophies. It was a sad day for Flyers fans this past Monday, waking up to learn that the Philadelphia team's founder passed away at the age of 83 years old. Unfortunately, owner Ed Snyder lost his two-year battle with cancer. According to a statement released by his children, Snyder fought his last years, months, and days with both courage and grace, and he recounted his love for many, including his Flyers family and friends. The team will go on to dedicate their postseason to their beloved owner, and their first playoff game will be taking place tomorrow, April 14th, against the Washington Capitals at 7 p.m. The Phillies had their home opener this past Monday as fans packed into Citizens Bank Park to watch the team take on the San Diego Padres. Officer Jesse Hartnett, a Philadelphia policeman that was shot three times in the line of duty this past January, threw out the ceremonial first pitch and then he proposed to his girlfriend. Members of the Villanova basketball team were also at the game to be honored for their recent national championship trophy. 
the team went on to eventually take a 4-3 loss against the Padres after an incident with an infield fly ruling, which happened in the sixth inning with bases loaded and no outs. The result was a double play and one run was scored, keeping the team from having a potential big inning. The Philadelphia team will face the Padres again tonight, April 13th at 7 p.m. On Sunday, the Cabrini College community suffered a tragedy as a member of the men's lacrosse team passed away. We ask that you please keep his family, friends, and the entire Cabrini community in your thoughts and prayers as we go through this tough time together. Thank you for watching Sports on Location. Don't forget to follow us on all of our social media platforms by simply searching Location News. I'm Allie Stein. And I'm Joan Oweski. Have a great week, Cabrini.